So every year there is a TV that hits that price point that you go, hmm, maybe I should buy this. Well, we're trying to find out if this is the best $500 TV to pick up. Let's check it out. So Hisense has brought a brand new television that I think is going to be really interesting in the market. I'm talking about the Hisense H8F. The H8F is a brand new TV. I have the 55 inch here, which retails for $500. Now we've seen cheaper TVs in the past, but what does it give us? Is this worth my time? Can I watch my movies on there? Can I game effectively? You know how those refresh rates are. But this is a TV that truly hits a whole new dimension. Now, the HHF is a really thin and light TV. Aesthetically, it looks really nice, very simple, and also similar to a lot of high-end TV designs. Now, it comes with four HDMI ports at the back, and all of them uh, support 4K60. So if you have anything that pushes that, like your Xbox One X, or of course, you know, um, uh, Blu-rays or uh, 4K Blu-rays, it will actually do that for you. One of the ports supports ARC, so of course you can connect your uh, speaker, something like your Sonos Beam, and get, of course, full functionality through it. Now, setting up the TV is really easy. It's got Android TV built in, and I've had my issues with Android TV, but I'll say though, I'm impressed with what they've done with the improvements, and making it a very easy process to set up the TV and get yourself going. You can set it up through your smartphone, or you can go through the steps on the television itself. Now, what do we have here with this TV? First off, it's got full local array dimming, 700 nits max brightness, which is great for a TV at this price range. A lot of them are really, really low. So you can go through and change the different settings. And of course, if you're watching something that supports Dolby Vision or HDR10, it automatically changes to that format and gives you the best settings for it. So if you're watching Netflix, your Dolby Vision will actually pop up immediately and you're good to go. If you're watching HDR10 content, that will do that as well. Now, the menu system is much more streamlined, it's easy to access, and you've got a very nice, simple remote control. There are more buttons than I do like personally, but I do like the layout of the remote control. You've got, of course, quick access to Netflix, uh, YouTube, Vudu, and a few other apps like that. And you can quickly go into your inputs and to the main menu settings. Now, of course, it's Android TV. There's a lot of apps you can go ahead and play with. So you can download as much as you want in terms of your viewing content apps. And now that Google and Amazon have made friends, that's gonna be coming in an update. So that is actually pretty cool. So watching content on this thing is absolutely beautiful. You know, I, I went and I tuned onto the uh, Our Planet uh, video on Netflix. It looks absolutely amazing on this TV. Very vivid and very bright. I was quite impressed with its price point and what I'm seeing here. Yes, this is not a thousand dollar TV. You know, this is not your two thousand or three thousand. This is five hundred bucks. And look at the image quality you are getting from this TV. But you're going to get under E. We want to, we want to see what games are like. How is gaming on this TV? Ooh, this is what really impressed me the most because as a gamer. Uh, refresh rates are very vital on this and it makes a lot of sense that they actually did some focus on here. Of course, Mortal Kombat 11 is out, MK11, so went ahead and did some of that gameplay on there and you can see it runs really smooth, especially in a fighting game where your mechanics and your timing is really necessary. Uh, this works out well. Even your fighting games, you know, I played a little bit of Apex, I died quite quickly. I played some Titanfall as well and you can see how well it looks and features on this TV. Plus, games like Forza 7. Again, you need some high refresh rate for that. It's a driving game, response time, all those things. It looks absolutely vivid. Doesn't matter what angle. Viewing angles are also much better on this TV. So you can see the different angles that, are, um, that we're looking at with the TV. We get very nice visuals from what you see right here. And I think they've done a really good job on this. Now, some of the things that I wish they would improve though is that it, you know, when you set up the TV, it goes into this energy saver mode, which is great. The problem is, you know, once you finish, if when you switch to a different mode, say maybe theater or game, 
uh, and you switch out of that, it reverts back to the energy saver mode, which basically dims down you know, the local dim zone. So it's at its dimmest possible, which I personally do not like. Yes, it saves on your electricity bill, it saves, it saves a lot of things, but I, I wish uh, you know, at least Android TV was more capable of going and detecting, oh, I'm watching this, I'm watching that, I'll automatically change to that. So hopefully that comes into play. Now, the other thing I mentioned is, yes, it does have Android TV, which means, as you see on the remote control, it's got Google Assistant built in. Not just Google Assistant to um, ask Google, hey, what's the time and things like that, but you can control everything. You can say, hey, tell Google to take it to Netflix. You can tell Google to open YouTube. You can watch Pocket Now on YouTube by telling it and it will open that up for you. Uh, you've got all those kind of functionalities, but the cooler part of that is that if you have a Google Assistant hub, like you know, Mini or Home, whatever, you can control your TV from those hubs as well because it is has a built-in Google Assistant. So you can actually tell it to uh, play Netflix, open, pause TV from your bathroom using your Google Hub in your bathroom or in your bedroom or wherever you are, doesn't matter. That's also really cool and I like that's built-in. Plus it supports Alexa as well. So if you have Alexa, you can actually set that up on the TV and go through all those steps, which is pretty cool. I think a lot of people will like this TV and what it brings. I think visually for me, it's just, it was, I was really surprised with how good this TV is at its price point. What's even better is that um, Hisense has three uh, different sizes for this TV. There's a 50 inch, a 55 and a 65. Guess how much the 50 inch with the same kind of quality settings here? It's 400 bucks, 399 for the 50 inch. The 55 is 499 and uh, the 65 is uh, 699, uh, so, sorry, 599. So you see how, how much here they have in this range that gives you a lot of great potential in terms of content watching, in terms of enjoying your games, in terms of enjoying a lot of things on this TV. Now, in terms of audio, the speakers are okay. Uh, most TVs just don't have great speakers and I didn't expect this to have, so something like a soundbar would, would work well for you. I've got a link for a couple. Definitely the Sonos Beam, I think, will work pretty well with this TV. And again, it's got that arc support, so you can actually go ahead and control things directly with just one remote control, so the, the TV remote control, all with Google Assistant. It really doesn't even matter at this point. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, any comments about the Hisense H8F and why I think this might be just the best $500 TV we see in 2019. I don't know of anyone else who's putting up a TV I would like to see and I will compare it with that for you. But if you actually want to pick one up, use our links down below. Plus, if you want to win one, Hisense is giving one away and you can enter into that content. We have a link for you down below in the description. Now, I'm going to leave you with some gameplay for Mortal Kombat 11. Enjoy it's a story mode, a little bit of that, so you can enjoy and see how well this TV handles. If you have any questions, any comments, let us know. Subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.
Sub-Zero wins. <laughs>